Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Weir's videos and today we're looking at multi-step literal equations level one. This is a continuation of our literal equations that was single step and remember that literal equations are equations that have two or more variables in it where you're solving and having an expression as the actual answer. Okay, so I'm going to do multiple problems today so that you can see there's a lot of different types and a lot of different problems that you would have to solve but you just have to figure your way through them so I want to give you a number of different examples so you can do that so let's take a look at the first example here All right. so in this first example we want to solve for B so we want to isolate the B and get that by itself all right, now, when you have two fractions, the best thing to do is to eliminate the fractions by cross-multiplying. So you multiply the B times the M and the G times the lowercase n here. Okay, once you do that, you'll have MB is equal to G times N. And again, we want to solve for this b. We want to get that b by itself. So since the b is being multiplied to the m, we're going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide by m. OK, so the m's will cancel out, and that's going to leave b. And on my right side, I've got this whole expression, because you can't compute it, simplify it, or anything. So you have GN over capital M. And that's your answer. Alright. So notice that, you know, some of the things are familiar, you know, just solve for B here. But sometimes you gotta figure something out like this by cross multiplying. Alright, let's take a look at another example. Alright, so on this one what we want to do is solve for A. We want to figure out what A is. Okay, so we've got uh, two terms here on the left side and one term on the right side. And the term that has A is A over N. So we want to isolate this whole term by itself. So in order to do that we have to eliminate this R term. So to eliminate that, what we're going to do is subtract R on both sides. Okay, see, and that'll be one step. So we're going to subtract R on both sides. And what we end up with is R minus R is zero, leaving us just the A over N. It's equal to B squared minus R. Alright, so we're another step closer to solving for A. Now we have to eliminate this N from the A. And since the A is being divided by N, you do the opposite and multiply by N. So we're going to multiply both sides by N. Okay, so I'm going to say A, if you want to, you can put this over 1. But I'm going to say A times uh, N and 1 times N, the N's cancel out leaving me with just A. And it doesn't matter which side you put it on, but it, it looks more familiar when you have the N times B squared minus R. And make sure you put it in parentheses because the N needs to be multiplied by the whole, both terms here, the binomial. And you don't have to distribute in order for it to work. You could just type it in just like that. So this will be your answer. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, so this is a uh, multi-step, and what we want to do is solve for A. We want to get that A by itself. 
So we got to we got to do two things. We got to eliminate the B and the F from the A. So since the B is being multiplied times A plus F, we have to divide that B. We do the opposite. So we're going to divide B on both sides. All right, so the B's will cancel out. And that will leave us with A plus F is equal to M over B. All right, so we did one step. Now we're going to do a second step to isolate the A. So the A is being added to the F. So in order to remove the F from this side of the equation, we have to do the opposite. And the opposite would be subtracting the F. So we're going to subtract the F from both sides. So once you do that, you're left with A on the left side. And M over B minus F on the right side. And you can see some of the things should be familiar as far as doing the opposite uh, and, and make sure you do it on both sides of the equation. Uh, it just looks a little different because you got a lot of letters. All right, let's take a look at one more example. All right, so this was a little complicated, but I'm going to walk you through it. So on this one, we're trying to solve for D. Okay, and you've got two D's in here, right? So in order to make it one D so you can solve for it, you have to do something called factoring. Okay, and what is factoring? Well, um, I can go into a long, drawn-out definition of factoring. But for this right here, what I want you to do understand is that it's the reverse to distributive. So let's say, for instance, you got something like this. Um, let me put it in green. 2 times x plus 1. And you distribute. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. So you got 2x plus 2. You multiply it on both. Well, to factor is to go in reverse where you take the 2x plus 2 and find something that you could pull out you could pull out the 2 and make it x and then 2 goes into 2 one time and make that 1 you're taking that out and you could do that if what you have on each term is multiplied by that same number and it's a little bit harder to do when you're dealing with numbers but when you're dealing with letters nine times out of ten is extra easy so being that we've got d is multiplied times h and d is also multiplied times 4m what we're going to do is undo that distribution we're going to pull out the d okay so i'm gonna put parentheses for everything else and isolate or pull this d out it's going in reverse of distribution Okay, so since the D is coming out, what's left here is H plus 4M. And all of that is equal to G cubed. Alright, now the next step is we still want to isolate the D. So in order to do that, I've got H plus 4M in parentheses. All of this is multiplied against D. So since it's multiplied, you do the opposite, which is divide. So we're going to divide H plus 4M on both sides. And this cancels out, leaving D. And all of that is equal to G cubed over H, and you want to put it in parentheses, plus 4M. H, um, GQ over H plus 4M in parentheses. 
and that's it and that's four of them i don't know if there's any more different types you would come across um but there's always the video here that you can watch to get extra help and some example problems there okay but again i want to thank you for checking out mr where's videos have a nice day